Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a question for you this springtime, this conflagration of our new spring equinox and a new moon coming in. Um, what new beginnings are you hoping to create with your life this spring? Susan Lazar Hart here, your congruency coach for creatives, for seekers, asking for more, looking for a totally different way of being in this world in your world now if that's you you've come to the right place and uh this is your transformational motivational monday moment so if you come on live to say hi don't hide and if you're watching later hashtag replay and come in with your questions because i check in every day now i know there are people out there who are saying well susan um like what do you mean this this is not a great time in the world i'm so stressed uh, don't you see what's being created? And to those people, I say, look at this world. Look at this amazing world. Do you see what's being created? Because just as the earth is constantly renewing itself with each new season, we too have the power to renew ourselves and create a fresh start. And that's what we're going to be playing with today. Now, right now, we're at the cusp of a new spring equinox and a new moon which is offering us a chance to embrace change, set intentions, take actions towards creating something greater for you, for yourself, for the planet, being really present with the greatness of you that's already there inside of you and bringing it forth, having it bloom. Now I'll repeat this again, just as the earth is constantly renewing itself with each new season, we too have the power to renew ourselves and create a fresh start in our lives. Now, this spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere, it's, it's spring is coming. It's a time of balance between light and dark. And as the days and nights become equal in length, it's also a time of renewal and new beginning. And just as the earth awakens from its slumber, I'm starting to see that a little bit in Vermont, even though I send out, out pictures with snow, there's also places that there's a, a little bit of sun happening and some new growth coming up through the snow. Everything begins to bloom into life as you do as well, if you're willing to be present. We don't exist here alone. We, are, we have seasons that we live in as well. And the spring equinox, equinox marks the birth of um, growth and renewal. It's a time to shed the old and welcome in the new. And just as plants shed their old leaves and grow new ones, we too, similarly, in our bodies, in ourselves, we're shifting and changing all the time. So why not take advantage of being present with this new moon as it represents new beginnings? With these two events, when they occur close together like this, it can create a potent energy for manifesting new beginnings. Yeah. I mean, anybody else feel like this totally different wave of energy coming onto the planet these days? Yeah. It's all about positive change in our lives. So it's, a, it's the time, just as in the spring, for those of you who are gardeners, you know, I know some of you are gardeners and you're already getting ready for tilling your garden, getting it ready for this spring, the new harvest that you're going to be planting the seeds for. Well, the same thing with us. This is a time to plant seeds of intention and focus on what it is you want to create in creating a life you love. Now, this is a time to reflect on past and release anything that no longer serves you, while also setting intentions and taking actions towards those intentions, towards your targets. When, you, when, you, when you're willing to step into harnessing the energy of your creations, just as spring equinox and the new moon does, we can embrace this season of renewal and growth and make a fresh start in our lives. So this metaphor of a seed being planted in fertile soil, it actually reminds us of the power of intention, of what is it that you, are you willing to be the energy of what you're intending to create and the importance of cultivating the right conditions for growth and renewal in your life, just as we do when we're planting a garden, right? So here's my first takeaway or strategy for you if you're asking Susan, well, you know, could you give, give me some more clarity? Take time for yourself today. Reflect on what's working for you and what's not. Be present with your list. 
and let go of what's not a contribution to you and breathe into what is and what you would love to create. Write it down. You know, when we get something out of our head and put it on paper, it totally changes and shifts the energies. We're no longer holding on to it. Check in with what you're, you, you've written down. Now, about five years ago, I walked away from an organization that no longer represented for me the shifts and growths that I was desiring in my life. And I knew I needed to make a change, but I wasn't sure where to start. And I felt kind of stuck, right? Knowing I came here with gifts to share, all of this energy to make a difference and not knowing what my next best step was. Well, one night I happened to look up and notice there was a new moon shining brightly in the sky. Love it. And something about its clear energy, this clean energy spoke to me and I decided to use all of this as an opportunity to release the old and make space for the new. So I lit a candle and I sat down with a journal, determined to write everything that I believed was holding me back. And I poured out my fears and my doubts and frustrations onto the page, letting them go one by one. Now, after I finished writing, I went over my list and I asked of each one, is holding on to this creating greater or lesser? Does it align with the energies that I've always known deep down inside were part of who I truly be? And as I considered what I'd written down, I asked myself, wow, so what would, Susan, what would you truly love? And I wrote that down as well. Now, aligned with this new sense of possibilities, I felt a sense of release and lightness just wash over me. And the next day, when I woke up, I had a renewed sense of energy, a greater sense of who I truly be. And I started to make plans for how I would move forward and, get, and just start with my next best step for these new beginnings. Now, I'm not going to tell you it was easy because we, we all have those sabotage, uh, you know, little sabotage agents on one shoulder saying, uh, go back to where it's comfortable. Don't bother. This looks like too much work or you can never do this. <laughs> but with the tools that I've been learning and diving into in, in personal mindset, transformational mindset, it's really assisted me in being able to say, no, sorry, that's my saboteur talking to me. That actually doesn't help me. And so I keep coming back to that moment of awareness, of brilliance, where I, I sat under that full moon and, and uh, created new tools to help my life, my living, and where I'm asking to go. And I truly um, knew that I was craving to create a more congruent life, living from my heart space, living from my heart. So today I'm sharing with this with you because I can look back now and see how far I've come since that night. And gratitude and appreciation is so huge in planting seeds that we were, that's part of the nurturing of those seeds, those seeds of thought where you're going, hey, Glenn, welcome, welcome, where you're asking to be. So that's my request of you to be present with this new moon as it continues to be a powerful reminder of that we do have the capacity to release the old making space for the new, which kind of ties in with my second strategy or takeaway for you. Stand back, take an aerial view of your life and living and ask yourself, is there anything here that needs decluttering? Now, cleaning and decluttering, and especially with the new moon, it's a time for letting go of what no longer serves you. Right? By combining these energies of truly what else is possible, what is in creating a life I love, and being present with what you've written down, you can create a powerful opportunity for yourself to renew what you've always known is possible and to create positive change. So often when we're decluttering our physical space, it declutters our mental space as well. Right? Because I know when I clear out when I give away, when I, whatever that is, um, when I come back into my office and there's space for me to create. And it creates a calm and a clarity, which obviously has a positive impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Again, by letting go of negative thought patterns, limiting beliefs and old emotional baggage that are holding you back, you actually create the new beginning that you desire. And use this, use this as an opportunity. We often say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it, right? After you finish listening to this, take a moment for yourself. Use some of these takeaways and see what they will create for you. 
Now my third strategy ties in with the first and the second, and that's about embracing the energy of new beginnings, right? Try something new, step out of your comfort zone, stretch yourself. The spring equinox and new moon are both powerful times for growth and renewal, and they can provide the perfect possibility for us to stretch and try new things. So take a moment, right? What have you always wanted to try or do? Where have you wanted to go? What would you love? What would you love? Write it down. What would you love? And then looking at these, ask, okay, which one of these is my first priority? And then what's my next best step in moving closer? Does it align with the life that I truly envision for myself? If it does, go for it, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes. Because once you put that out into action, the universe rewards action. And there'll be more space for you to bloom into being you, incon incongruent with this incongruence, with the spring ex equinox, with the new moon, because it's all here for you. It's all here to contribute to you. It's just about stepping into this. So the, the, by taking actions towards your desires, embracing the energies of new beginnings, you too can tap into the powerful energies of the spring equinox and the new moon and create positive changes in your life. Now, if you have some questions, pop them in here. Uh, know that I'm here for you. If you would like to have a, a deeper dive into this, Susan, I, you know, I get the idea of planting seeds. I'm just not sure what I want to plant. I, I don't really have that vision for my life. Reach out to me. Uh, I'm going to put in up here my calendar, and uh, it's uh, congruentliving.as.me forward slash path. I'll put it up here as well. Reach out to me. Book, book in a, a, a clarity session with me. Let's see what we can create to give you the clarity that you're asking for, the strategies, because nobody can do it alone, right? We all need that support. We all need somebody to kind of sit down with and just help us declutter what isn't working for us, so we can see our path and start planting seeds towards the future you desire. Have an amazing day. I look forward to hearing from you. Live boldly, love greatly, and be that fearless leader you came here to be. One who is here to create greater and live congruently from your heart. From my heart to yours, have an amazing day. Thanks so much for dropping in. Bye-bye.